What's up, YouTube? This your man, Big B Production 100. I have a great video for you guys on this beautiful Thursday here in Chicago. So, for this video, I'll be showing you guys of how you can fix some error messages that you might get from time to time inside Safari when you visit a website. From time to time, you might get an error message on a website, and basically, that message will state Safari can't verify the identity of the website. And when you get that message, it will look something like this right here. I have gotten this message from time to time. I hate it, along with a whole bunch of other errors that you'll get from time to time inside Safari as well. I'm gonna show you some of the things that you can do inside Safari that'll fix those problems. First thing you wanna do is start out by going up to your Apple symbol here to just check for, you know, basic software updates. From time to time, you will notice that a basic software update will fix most problems that you get inside Safari, including error messages. So with that being said, I have no updates. Okay, that's fine. Another thing you can do is hit Command and Spacebar on your Mac keyboard. Once you do that, you should have Spotlight open in the right-hand corner in your search field there. When you have that open, just type in Keychain, like so. Now, once you go inside Keychain here, I want you to go up to where it says Keychain Access up in the left-hand corner. Just click. Now come down to where it says Keychain First Aid, like so. Just click on it, put in your password. Now with Keychain First Aid, it's something like Dish Utility. It will basically look through Safari to check for error messages and stuff like that and to see if there's any problems. If it is, you can repair them right there inside Keychain First Aid. Just click on Start once you have selected Verify. And of course, put in your password. Now verification started. Everything seems to be looking fine on my end. Verification is complete. But if you did get any errors in here, if anything was read, just click on repair and then just choose start. Once everything is completed, you should have this repair completed. Everything should then be resolved inside Safari. Close everything down, including keychain access. Lock it back up, log out, open Safari backup. And everything should be running nice and smooth. Just enter your password one more time here for Safari. like so and uh, after that everything as far as the errors that you was getting inside Safari should then be resolved and you should be on your merry go way to just surf the web or do whatever it is that you was trying to do from the beginning on their website this is your man Big B Production 100 please rate comment and subscribe if you guys did enjoy this short video which I hope you did I'll let you